Bongo Casino Studios. It's Frosty, Heidi, and Frank on 95.5 KLOS and KLOS HD1. Los Angeles. Frosty, Frank show. Very special day here. You've been waiting for seven years for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> for Mark and Brian to return and be in this room uh, speaking to you in the mornings. And they are here, the legendary duo. Let's get them in here. Yes. Here's my let's dance. People are so excited. The dynamic. Oh, the yeah. Back. Good morning. And you they brought you liquor. You, you, wherever. Wherever you guys want to sit down. Wherever, wherever you guys I think these are your original chairs. I think your names are still on the back hey, of them. I, actually, uh, that's what I want to bring up with you guys. I had a great chair. And... It, it had my name on it. It was high brown, brown, brown leather. Brown. I were, brown yes, leather, those yeah. were here when we got here. Do you have it? And I said, "Get that out of here!" <laughs> <laughs> do you have it, or no, do you know where it went? Um, I think our boss Keith has it in his office, right across the hallway. Here. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. I think it is. Here. Yeah, actually, it is this there. is Keith's office. I'll be right back. <laughs> right, it's going to Because I saw it, <laughs> and I thought, could there be two chairs as disturbingly disgusting as those that we had? He's sitting in it. You're about to see it. <laughs> oh, my God. It's right there. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Mark's going to look yeah. for his My chair. name's on the back. It's the chair. It's the chair, yeah. Thank you for letting me know that. Yes, of course. You should take it with you. Oh, I'm going to. That's as valuable as that baby. Ruth Jersey we were talking about. Yeah. Your chair, Brian. Good to see you. Oh, that's good to know. Good to see you guys, and thanks All for... Right. Hey, there's my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Brian, on the back. That's the chair. It is the I chair. Mean, there's no you, denying now, it. Now, now, get this, Mark, get this. I was here uh, a week ago just to do a little walkthrough in the afternoon, and he's sitting there in my chair. Never told me. Never yeah, mentioned it. see it because he hid, he hid the chair. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm taking it with me. Yeah, no. Laura. You should. Laura, come here. <laughs> All right, get this in the car right now. Yes, oh, load it in the truck. You can chair. have that. It's my chair. In the car that goes now, with us. No, did you take your chair? Or, uh, what happened no, to your chair? Somebody took it. The story of the chair is um, we had really crappy chairs at, yeah. at, at, at the building we were in. And, and so uh, a listener who sells these things had them specifically made for us. We picked them. Material. Okay, so that was that was my question because when we first started with the company, I mean, it was a yeah. big, big shoes to fill, all of that, and we we're like, wait, they've got, they had their own chairs. And they like, had chairs that names on And I'm like, I wonder how many years into them being a show that it took for them to get chairs because we still don't have chairs. We've been here seven years. No, oh, well, the station bought us nothing. We, <laughs> yeah. we, we, okay, so a some listener, things never changed. Just ask your listeners. They'll, well, as you guys know. I the think that they, they chose us to, to take over when you, uh, when you guys left because that we look like you. <laughs> true. Seriously. Very true. Very true. I was like, like maybe right. no one will notice. Yeah. You got the brunette, you got the blonde. <laughs> Who <laughs> will pick up on it? We <laughs> I mean, just. And, and by the way, the older I get, the more of these I get. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're catching up. And I'll have your haircut in probably two years. <laughs> to be honest, I can't well, wait for that day. <laughs> so, so, you know, I, I, I got to say, when we did. Uh, the last show and not knowing exactly where that was going to go and then we decide to step away and you guys step into that scenario uh, I had done shows where I had to come in for a, a fairly big show how was the transition for you because you've done great I mean you don't have to worry oh, about that it was uh, I mean in the beginning obviously it was rough but I think the fact that it, you guys retired it wasn't like you were fired and replaced like who are these guys they fired tough. these guys it was like hey what are you gonna do these guys are retiring and they had a great run and we're the guys who were taking the place and a lot of people didn't want to take this job because of that like of the shoes and the legend and i was like no let's let's go for it i mean you guys we've always looked up to you in your careers well i remember and, um uh it, it, like, as we did the first few weeks first few months maybe first few years mm. uh just hate calls and just you know like uh is this isn't the us? same no for, <laughs> for our show because you took over for fraser smith right uh, well yes. actually with rita and then oh, fraser right. smith before that and, right, right. and and that the morning show was rock and roll music and here's these two idiots doing Talking. stuff that no right. one's ever and but so it was a rough time for us so it was a rough time for you guys probably in the first few weeks and stuff so i remember i tweeted uh, out, I said, um, give them a chance. They're they're trying to find you. It it's not the same, and it shouldn't be. Right. Yeah. And and, and well, thank you for that. And, and well, yeah, your fans are some of the the, the greatest fans because uh, they did. I mean, after that, tra no one likes change, and so when they did change, but then once they got to know us, I think got to know you guys, being small town guys from Birmingham, Alabama. Right? Was that the first place you guys did mornings? Then you mm -hmm, came to L.A. Mm -hmm. 
And us being uh, good old boys from Indiana, it's like well, they see, got that same right, kind of sense. It, it was the perfect move because you guys had been around L.A. for quite a while. Not in the same spot for the entire time, but you'd been around. So it wasn't He's like saying this. saying we got fired a lot. Yeah. But, I mean, you, you, <laughs> hey, downtown, up and down the dial. No, but, <laughs> hey, you, you take a look at us. Uh, we came in. Nobody knew right. what we were. And they're from where? Birmingham, where is that? Right. So for us, it was everything all at once. And we made the conscious effort, and Brian touched on it. We didn't come in to this iconic 95.5 KLOS and try to fit in. We came in and we did what we do and not care what happened. We it, actually, honestly, we thought, hey, we're going to be there for a couple of months. We'll get it on our resume, and we'll go to St. Louis or somewhere. It's right, true. Right. It's wow. true. Wow. And we hit. That probably helped you because you're just like, well, whatever. Well, well we, we did. decide a conscious effort. To, we're not going to change the show. We're not going to be uh, yeah. a, a zoo format. We're not going to be yuck, 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 you know. And look, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like a first date. If you go in and you try to put on airs and be what you're not, then it's not going to go well. But if you just lay it out there and go, this is it like it or not and that's what we did and it worked for us from day one actually from day one on i-95 we didn't uh, in birmingham we right. didn't know each other but that's we the thought, thing I, I talked to randy lane recently and yeah, he was talking about uh, how randy how's randy doing he's doing great and he was talking about you guys and saying how the this the throwing the, the idea of throwing you two together who didn't know each other and then the the chemistry that came out of the that first meetings and the first shows that he was like this is awesome and it's like that is probably the biggest thing as we have in common as shows mm -hmm. is the chemistry that that sure. Heidi and I, we've worked together over 18 years now together yeah mm -hmm. and yeah. then you guys being thrown together and just having that natural chemistry and be able to accelerate that all the way to Los Angeles. And, and, I, I can't tell you we planned it, but I, I will say uh, in Birmingham, our first uh, of week of shows, we both wanted it to work so bad. And, and again, we just had known each other maybe three weeks before we went on the air. But um, we wanted it to work so bad, it, we actually, and not consciously, I don't think, but we made it sound like we were best friends and we'd known each other for, for a long, long time. And so that you know, Randy Lane has been on to become all that. He's like big Has now. He? Yeah. Randy Lane is a hack. <laughs> hey, Randy, you don't know what the hell you're doing. Yeah. You're yeah. guessing yeah. all the way to the top. <laughs> you pig. And I, I don't want to, you know, tell secrets or anything, right. but remember that one morning show when he came in drunk wearing assless checks <laughs> and a tube top? I can see it, actually. I can see that. Yeah. Many photographs. But I this like guy uh, was uh, very instrumental in putting Mark and I together. I mean, he's he's one of the one of the guys. He and Mark St. John. And and real quickly, to get to business, we did we brought gifts, and we'll get those in a minute. Uh, we are coming back together for this one-day event uh, for a couple of reasons, but none more important than to pay homage to, quite literally, one of the greatest set of call letters in this entire country. Fifty years, 95.5 KLOS has been broadcasting. And do you think, those of you that's listened for that many years or even part of that, do you think that it's a... Uh uh, uh, by chance that Slash pops in or, or Dave Grohl pops in, they pop in because it's 95.5 KLOS. Mm. And whenever KLOS calls, they come. We had Steven Tyler, uh, who, by the way, never left the building. He would come in. <laughs> this I'm, I'm is not a great kidding. story. This is amazing. <laughs> he came in and he did our interview for as long as we needed him and did whatever we wanted. And then because he's Steven Tyler and he knows what it means, he would we finish the show we have gone home for the day i'm napping and i get a call he's still here he goes into the sales department and he takes pictures at every cubicle because wow. he knows it means something but a quick story and this is great we had uh stevie nicks and lindsey buckingham okay so they're going to come in they're going to do landslide oh Oh, Which we're going to live in studio. Have you heard yeah. this version? Oh, no, I don't think so. Well, when, so, when we do our show oh, well, uh, later, today. we're going to play. It was uh, they they hadn't performed together in I don't know ten years. Long I got chills just thinking about hearing it later. Rita was in the room. <laughs> we we looked at each other and just at really goosebumps. Yeah, I mean, yeah. just and, and because there was a moment when they were singing and she looks over to him and they look in each other's eyes and they just go.
Okay. But, wow. But you, you have to know what went on before because she, Stevie, got there early and she was shuttled into the green room. And within 60 seconds, somebody was called into the green room and Stevie wanted the glass pane to be covered with aluminum foil. So we had to get aluminum foil. Because the aliens? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Who knows why? Cover it. Just get it covered. So, so it With was, aluminum foil. Right. Not so a it, curtain. It, so it was done. Okay. So it's, uh, it's not good in the green room. And we're, we're sitting there trying to do a show. Lindsay, by the way, has now arrived. He's pulled out his guitars, and there was 12 of them. And he's uh, tuning and picking. He's just sitting there, and he's aware that there's aluminum foil being put on the green. And by the way, there was a, a lasagna in the kitchen, so I had to take the aluminum foil <laughs> off the, the it lasagna. Worked. It, it, yeah. it, it it's improv, baby. It's put it on fit. the window there. Yeah. Amazing. All right, yeah. so, so then word comes down from the people that brought them that L Stevie doesn't feel like singing. So without skipping a beat, Lindsay just starts putting the guitars up. He's been, you can tell, I've been through this. I know what this is. Just put them up. Right. Okay, so then Stevie is being ushered to the room where they're going to be with us. Tito, who worked with us, uh, Tito is a very big, lovable hippie. And Tito, knowing Stevie and Lindsay were coming, he had made this bag of um, weed, jewels, <laughs> hippie <laughs> things, uh, like crystals. crystals. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. okay, so Stevie, Goodbye, crystals. Yes. Yes. yes, Stevie walks by. She sees Tito gives. They huddle up. She's now late for the broadcast. We're talking. She's huddled up with Tito. Tito. So Lovable hippie. She comes in holding the bag of whatever the hell he put in there. And she looks at Lindsay and she goes, let's do landslide. It was the bag of whatever. <laughs> yeah. And like Brian said, it was the most amazing thing you'd ever seen. And they it's were just, joyful. They were joyful together for the first crystals. time. It was. And so whatever the road it is that you have to travel to get to that, go ahead. And get this. The show was at the, <laughs> the, show was at the Greek. It was like five days later. They do the show. Apparently, this is now 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. Stevie Nicks calls the KLOS switchboard and asks to speak to Tito. Oh. No, but... <laughs> she's, like a, she's like, Joe, like, I, 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 I need, need my, uh, my, 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 my crystals. I'm a spiritual I, 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 advisor. Is Tito there? <laughs> yeah. God love you, Tito. <laughs> well, we, you saved us, brother. We had to give Brian a gallon of essential oils to be here. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's just... <laughs> I told you no melon scent. I told you. It makes it angry, Frank. Yeah. You both look great uh, in, in retirement. I, I've heard uh, some good things and horrible things about retirement in and of itself. Mm -hmm. is, is, is there, uh, is there, what are you doing now that you're enjoying? What are you doing now that you're just missing? Um, well, first of all, I got to tell the story. This walkthrough I did last week, I went to the sales department, and there is John Spence, who is uh, yes. Yes, still there. John's still here. Still there. John Spence is a great guy. Yeah. He's, uh, <laughs> hey, John! It's our <laughs> But uh, I'm standing there talking to him, and, and uh, you know, I haven't seen him in years. And he, he looks at me and goes, so are you bored? <laughs> oh my God, that's a perfect John Spence. What are you just doing with your face? <laughs> so, yeah, no, no, everything's cool. Um, guys, um, I bet you don't miss waking up early. Well, that is. Uh, Isn't I, that nice just to be just to get up when whenever your eyeballs as, open? As you both know, it's uh, rough. It's rough, and ev everything you do that day all all has to surround the idea of getting up that early the next day. Yeah, going so, to bed in enough time. Take a nap to get now. I get I gotta eat then take a nap. But no, I got a thing tonight. So you have to you have to do calculus every day to do it. Right. Uh, and and yeah, blessed to be able to say we did that for twenty five years. But I do not miss that part of it. Alarm went off today and it was still dark out. Do you remember? <laughs> I mean, I was like, oh yeah, that. <laughs> oh, we agreed this to nine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so um, I I'll do a quick John Spence, and then I'll answer your question. But here's John Spence. Every freaking day of our life, we'd finish the show, we go to the back studio, we're going to record some spots, and they're John Spence's. Here's John. He just opened the door, and he would do. Hey guys, just have fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and before Thanks, you knew, Thanks, good note. Good uh, note. Speaking of salesmen, there was a, uh, and, uh, they would get Mark, everybody would get Mark and I's name di uh, mixed up all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I still to this day answer to Brian. Yeah, and, and um, I answer I to Mark. It's, it's, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, but there was a brand new salesman, and he really wanted to make a good impression, and, and he was wearing the crispy the shirt, and he was wearing the tie, and he's his first day there, and I'm walking out of the uh, auxiliary studio, and he walks up to me with all the confidence in the world. He goes, hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and he walks down the, uh, the hallway. And, I, and you just go, I'll yeah, go I just on. let him do it. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, to uh, to answer your, your question, after 50 years of doing this, and nothing, nothing will ever replace the joy that I receive from putting on headphones and speaking into a microphone. I'll never, ever, ever replace it. And I've got the podcast that I do once a week, which is comfortable. But what I find that keeps me the happiest, by the way, as I've processed not doing this, I don't miss the grind. I don't miss the eight to 10 hour a day, every day, primarily days you're not in the mood for it. I don't miss that. But what I do is I fill my day with things that are creative and whatever that may be. It can be whatever it is that you enjoy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that can be creative. I know I am creative. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, got thumb down, thumb down, because that's somebody else is doing it. <laughs> no, the key. I'm not even a lefty. <laughs> the, the, the key is to not let yourself get bored, to right. do stuff that you enjoy, that you find creative, and, and just kind of get through your day with that. And that's now, Have you good. picked up any, like, a hobby, like a bucket list hobby, like, you know, I'm, I'm going to try doing this and see if I like yeah, it. Yeah, um, for a while, and I haven't done it for a while, for a while I was a freelance conjugal visitor in a women's prison. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> it wasn't that lucrative, but yeah. you get paid in cigarettes and toilet wine. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, with the term <laughs> toilet wine, you get a visual, yeah, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which sounds pretty good, frankly. I mean, prison hooch is kind of the fancy Prison version, hooch. But then you say toilet yeah. wine, and it's the well, same thing. Well, actually, prison, prison hooch was one, like my first client. <laughs> she... Hey, and you know what? I know we got to go. We're close to going, right? No, we can stay all Okay, well, here's the thing. Uh, I want to say this because I mean this. Um, the fact that you, Heidi and Frank, would allow Mark and Brian, who uh, you filled our shoes, to come back in here and be on your show, and I know that you know what I'm saying. How many morning shows would allow that? The egos are huge. Uh, there's issues. There's problems. But you embraced it, and it meant the world to both of us that you would say, guys, we know you've got a long day. Come start it with us. It really does. It just shows who you are as people. Well, the thing is when, when uh, our boss, Keith, uh, mentioned it, they're like, hey, you know, they're going to come on for one show in the afternoons, and they'd you know, like to come on, but they're very respectful. I want to know if you're okay with that. I was like, are you kidding me? I mean, seriously, to have you guys in the room with us. So it was like the radio uh, rule about reintroduce who's on your show right now. But yeah, I'm like, sure. I don't think I need to. Yeah. The voices and, and just the so history. Familiar. Everybody's like, am I hearing Mark and Brian? They think I woke up from a coma. They're like, wait, what the hell's going on right now? Is it 1987? Uh, but yeah, like I so said, we've uh, always uh, looked up to you guys and uh, appreciate, uh, I mean, you were way, way supportive when we first started, and you told the audience to give us a shot. Both of you did, yeah, and that, yeah. that means a lot, too, to and us. And so and anytime you guys are here in town, just want to come on and, and have fun with us, the door's always And what's beautiful, it. what's beautiful about it is when we first started and we would be out somewhere, people would you say, oh, I don't know. I was Mark and Brian, and they'll do all the, your little inside oh, yeah. jokes, and I'm like, okay. Yeah. And now, all these years later, they're like, oh, I was a huge Mark and Brian fan. I hated you guys when you first started. I really <laughs> yeah, exactly. hate and now, man, I yeah. love you guys yeah. so much. Yeah. Like you're, And so that's where it's like, okay, we won. I'm sure we did lose some, and that's fine. But the people who loved you because of your authenticity and all the reasons they loved you, now they're like, well, I'll just give them a shot. Mm. And it is thanks to you guys for saying, hey, listen, mm. you know, we're, we got our stamp of approval. And so if they're like, well, if they're okay with it, maybe we should be okay with it. And now and look they're a part of the family. And look what you did, you guys. Yeah. Congratulations. And, and I want, also you. wanted to say um, we're very sorry to hear the news about Frosty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Frosty's yeah, he really dad. wanted to be here because he hasn't met you guys. Right. Uh, he, he was, was super him, excited, yeah. yeah. Right. And so unfortunately um, not. So uh, I live in... In, uh, a little small town 20 minutes north of Charlotte and uh, redneck I I oh yeah and, and <laughs> happy to be so <laughs> um, and you know I can remember especially this past season watching it on television the fires and the winds and the floods that came through uh, I remember standing every year because we lived up in Santa Clarita and the Santa, the Santa Ana's was just whipped through and the flames would be a hundred yards from our yard and you're just praying and you're hoping it and the sky is that orange color that it gets when there's nothing but smoke and I I'm sure that you dealt with this on the program but I reached out knowing that a thousand people had done the same as well Frank but Frank lost his house in those flames and it, it affects and touches each and every person. We told him not to not to start the meth lab. <laughs> <laughs> I should have listened. 
Yeah. <laughs> very dangerous. Very high. Explosive. So having gone through that, obviously you lose your house and whatever was in it. But what is it that you go through having looked back on that and processed it? What did you lose? Uh I, it's not really so much what I lost. I think it's actually what I was able to gain. It was the baptism by fire. Mm -hmm. I'm the type of guy who needs a total annihilation to learn a lesson. Mm -hmm. And in this particular case, it was like, do I, uh, do all the things I own and have, and I open my closet, Stuff. and I open it, yeah, is it, is it really who I am or who I think that I am? Like, I have camping gear that I was, because then you had to go through and itemize some things. Like, oh, yeah, we had all the camping gear. I haven't been camping in a decade. But sure. did I want to believe I was a guy who camped? And so it really slowed down my process about what's important, what's, you know, what you really, really need and who you are. Stuff is stuff. You start over with a completely blank Etch-A-Sketch after you've built, you know, 50 years of, of whatever you have and it's gone it's blank and you start over it really makes you think about who do you who re you really are who you really want to be and mm -hmm. so when i had all the support from you and everyone reaching out it was it was so special that i've never really been on that end of receiving and i realized i am a great receiver <laughs> yeah good. really good. i love receiving what his wife says, <laughs> I mean, hell a given i'm receiving <laughs> well you know what uh, it, and this 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 came That's to a mind. great place to be isn't it <laughs> it's a wonderful right. lesson uh this this came to mind when you lost your house and and uh, i buried both my mother father and sister while i was doing mark and brian brian buried his dad while we were doing mark and brian and show still happens that's right you still have to put aside i lost my house i'm burying my father today you still come in and you know uh to a degree it's really hard to get up that morning because you've not slept and you're bothered and you come in and then this becomes cathartic that's right it does and also and I, I, I bet it's the same with you guys someday you're really some days some mornings you're just whatever you're chemistry your life whatever it, you, you you don't feel like being the life of the party at six o'clock in the morning correct but you know your partner's going to be there and you uh, because of your partner and, and back and forth this has happened to both of us because of your partner when you're together that long you sense uh what's going on over there and you just pick it up and you make it sound like he is the life of the party or he you know that, that we're both just here you really you're supportive of it because you want to make it work you want to you have a job to entertain people um but but it was like the greatest safety bumper and uh, uh security blanket ever it's yeah no just, matter what else is going on in my life i've always told heidi go this is my happy place yeah, yeah. Right. and, yeah. and right. it's true those of you that i mean it's true and and to uh kick off on brian's note i tried to being that i lived in santa clarita i would always leave super early i didn't want to be late <laughs> one particular morning i'm 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 late i think there was a cup in the road on four <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and so i pull up to the red light i'm just on la Cienega. i'm just around the building and i pull up to and the music has already started in 30 oh, seconds we're supposed anarchy. to be so, okay so i'm thinking yeah. well brian's got this brian's got this i'm sitting at the red light i look over and brian is sitting <laughs> in the car he's going <laughs> 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 Oh my God! <laughs> this is the best. Well, th thank you guys so yeah, much yeah. for stopping thank in and hanging out with us. I can't wait to hear all the other oh. stories at three o'clock. The show oh, tonight, <laughs> three to seven p.m. You want to keep it right here on ninety-five five KLS yeah. for this one-time yeah. event. And as Mark said, um, right. uh, and I and I want to add to this. Thank you so much for being so cool to have us in. And, oh, and being cool. Anytime. Right yeah. Like I said, the door is always right. open for you guys. Yeah, you. Uh, right now, we do have to apologize to those that you that we have offended today and get the hell out of here. Jeff Peanut Butter Archers, Jerry Garcia, and Mandy. <laughs> Assisted living facilities, tequila drinkers, uh, coma patients, and women with ice cream. Marijuana smokers, two-headed ladies, gay bars, and festival goers with herpes. Hipsters with AIDS, wives doing chores, bubble boys, and upholsters. Rescue animals, hippos, <laughs> gassy husbands, and dads and Daisy Dukes. Uh, you want to apologize to anybody? <laughs> no, but uh, I was listening coming in, and uh, the line of the day, yes. I, I, don't, I, I forget who said it, but the line of the day for me was, um, you're talking about the guy with the metal plate in his head? Yes. And uh, the he, 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 could, he could put his grand children's that art on the yes. magnet i cracked uh, up on that <laughs> there you go thank you that was Heidi. Oh, I, oh. we also what need to honor. apologize to alexa chucky the avengers and mark and brian thank you, you really have to listen to the whole show brought to you by your southern california toyota dealers we are frosty heidi and frank